so today Jeremy is gone. He had a couple different appointments to go to. So I'm just going to uh, do some random stuff around here, see what I can figure out to do without him. So homeschooled Sam this morning, then I vacuumed and tidied up all inside the house. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go outside and see if I can cut three more pieces for the bottom of that utility room out there and insulate them and put them on. I've never used a saw before. The, what is it, the one hand saw? I don't know, the one that he's been using. I've used the chop saw and I feel fine with that, but um, the saw that he's been using I've never used, so I'm not even gonna bother trying. I don't wanna chop my fingers off, so um, I will get out the chop saw because I'm comfortable with that. I've used that enough times, or just like the manual hand saw, I could use that as well. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a couple pieces that are already small and will fit in nicely with just a couple little cuts. If so, I will do that. And then I will probably go under the house. Um, we had to cut the bubble foil under the house where like right where the addition was like yeah because last year when the addition wasn't done or earlier this year before the addition was done um, it was a deck and then when we put the plywood on the deck and ripped up the deck boards if you watch previous videos you would know that uh, the rain started coming in through the house and sleeping down the main floor and then it got into um, we already had the bubble foil there so we had to go cut it a whole bunch of it like like part way, like a quarter of the floor in the house had to be cut um, where the addition is into the house. And so we had to cut that. So I went in last week and I retaped the first half. I'm a little bit claustrophobic, so the last half of the house um, <clears throat> is a lot shorter because the ground here is just like the way it is. And uh, yeah, I was pretty nervous, so I didn't go over there. But Jeremy hasn't had a chance to get to it, so I may just have to suck it up and get over there and tape it today um, but what I'm going to attempt to do is see if I can measure out uh, the addition floor um, where it's higher so the farthest half of the addition like to the left side of the house I'm going to see if I can get at least that half insulated so I'm going to go under there and just as long as I can measure it by myself um, then I can come out and I can cut the bubble foil and I can just staple it up onto the bottom of the addition floor so I will give all that a go and see what I get done today. Sam has dance tonight at five o'clock. It's her first day back at dance, so she's really looking forward to that. And uh, right now she's just doing some of her homeschool stuff in her room while I kind of put around and get other things done. So I had brought my washing machine in the house, um, but since we haven't finished this room yet and the hose connector is still in there onto the water tank, I just carried it out this morning and have it all hooked up to do some laundry today because it's going to be a nice day without any rain. Uh, but as soon as this is all closed in, we're going to have a hole going into the house for the hose so that I can do my laundry in the house. So probably after today, this laundry machine will be living in the house and I'll just do my laundry at the kitchen sink because I'll have the hose running from the wall right here in under the kitchen sink and then the drain which is right there and all the water comes out of will be draining into the um, kitchen sink. I can't find any pieces um, to fit on the bottom like on the second part and the third little bit there so that aren't going to require a lot of cutting and I can't do it with this chop saw here so I'm going to have to leave it for Jeremy so I'll just put the one piece on that I was able to cut and fit on and then when he gets home he'll have to or tomorrow he'll have to do the other pieces. Gotta get under the house. The worst job.
get the measuring tape. Get at her. part of the floor done see how there's like okay so this the floor is split into like four sections this whole area here so back there it's like a rose comes this way one two like a whole bunch through this through the length of 16 or the width I guess would be here this way 16 and this way is 24 so on the where I'm insulating it goes like this runs that way so I did one whole row and then I came in and uh, brought my laundry machine in and all my laundry from outside because it looks like it could rain and made a loaf of bread. Well, we haven't made it yet. Like we got it all ready and now it's got to rise for a couple hours and then I will cook it. Um, and then made some potato hash browns over here. So we've been kind of, we come in sometimes we're really hungry and don't have a lot of time to cook stuff. So I've been preparing um, potatoes. I boil them and get them all ready and then fry them up with onion, pepper, salt and pepper, like stuff like that. And then we have a meal ready. So I made some already for Sam and I with some chicken, fried chicken. And then we have a whole bunch of leftover ready for another day. So now Sam has to uh, go to dance, first day of dance tonight. So she's all ready to go. So our bread is gonna rise and when we get back, we'll cook it and we'll have some nice fresh bread with more chicken and taters. <laughs> So I went out this morning to do more insulation under the house, but it's raining. So I brought the insulation in here. I'm going to dry off what I had outside because like, I just was out there cutting this strip. I went under the house and measured so I could cut at least six strips and then go under and staple them up. It's a lot easier than coming in and out all the time. So I'll cut three here and then I may wait till it stops raining because I have to go get a big roll, a whole new roll. And I don't really want to lay it out on the living room floor because we're probably going to do plastic or something later. So I will just dry it off and then cut two more strips here.
I'm going to go put those pieces under the house and then, um, yeah, I probably won't cut anymore for now because it's raining. So I forgot to mention it's a new day now. So yeah, <laughs> I just brought those pieces and it's now Tuesday morning and it's raining, but the rain should stop later and then I'll be able to finish it. So that's it for now. Uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and see you in the next one.